Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy MXL Guapo, man. Street certified news. And we back with another one. First off, man, we definitely want to shout everybody out, man, um, for just the continued support of the channel. And we are not that big of a channel yet. You know what I'm saying? We going we gonna to keep working. We going to keep dropping these docs. And we going to keep running the numbers up. But right now, man, we not even that big of a channel. And every time we drop a story, man, it moved the culture, man. So we would just like to thank you guys for that, man. You know what I mean? Continue support of the, of the channel, man. And we're going to keep running it up for y'all, man. For this particular video, man, we not really going to ask for a certain amount of likes, man. We just say, hey, if you rock with us, man, stop right now, man. Run it up, man. Show us as much support as you can. You know what I'm saying? We know some people don't really like when you say, hey, let me get 500 likes. Or let me get 400 likes, man. So, look, check this out. If you rock with us, man, stop right now, man. Show us some love, man. We humbly appreciate it. This week's story, man, we're going to get right into it, man. The FBI targeting the next Chicago gang, man, for the Rico, man. We're going to look at 07 and Face World uh, on December 2023. Uh, they were charged in federal court with a murder. Uh, as well as racketeering activities i think they trying to link the murder and say you know the murder has something to do with the gang and you know raising your status in the gang or something like that it's kind of a shaky case to be honest man but we gonna really look at it you know they saying 079 face world they got it plastered all over the newspapers but when you really look at it man it's two young guys being charged for a murder uh, they claim that this murder would have helped these young guys uh, ascend in the organization of, uh, of 079 Face World. But to be honest, man, they don't charge nobody but those two guys. So this week's story, man, the FBI targeting 079 Face World in the latest Rico. Hey, let's get right into it. On December 5th, 2023, Deontay Chubbs Harper and Amonte Bucks McClure, reputed members of the Face World faction of the Gangster Disciples, were indicted in federal court on charges of murder and conspiracy in aiding and racketeering activity. With additional face world members also being federally charged with carjacking and armed robbery, prosecutors alleged that Harper 24 and McClure 21, in association with other unnamed members, carried out violent attacks on rival gangs, including Wooga World, DOD, and 900. The neighborhoods of Face World, which runs from 79th to 83rd in Inglewood and from 69th to 71st in the West Inglewood community near Talman, were originally created in honor of 15-year-old Cornell King Face Henderson, a CVS high school freshman who was tragically shot to death near Marquette Park in 2010. By 2020, Chicago police investigators had suspected that 079 Face World and Wooga World were at war, leading to a number of high-profile shootings and murders in the summer of 2020. On May 13, 2020, prosecutors alleged that defendants Chubbs and Monty murdered Paul Harris in furtherance of their racketeering activities. The victim, Paul Harris, only 22, was sitting in a vehicle in the 8600 block of South Halston Street around 5.55 p.m. when two people walked up to his car and started firing. Exactly one month later, the alleged feud would explode into a wave of violence on July 13, 2020, when a 21-year-old Face World member named Tremonti Lamonti Pace was fatally shot in the 8000 block of South Stewart Avenue. With rumors spreading that Wooga World killed Tremonti, the next day, Donnie Weathersby, a 31-year-old Wooga World member, was killed in a drive-by shooting in the 7400 block of South Stewart Avenue when a dark-colored vehicle pulled up and someone inside opened fire, striking him in the head and torso, and also shooting another man in the leg. At the time of the murder, police sources believe Weathersby was killed in retaliation for Lil Monty slaying. One week later, on July 21st, 2020, 15 people will be wounded in a drive-by shooting near Rose Funeral Home in the 1000 block of West 79th Street, where a service for Weathersby was being held. Police alleged that 079 Face World members took advantage of family and friends gathering for the death of the 31-year-old Weathersby when they carried out the brazen mass shooting. We would like to say RIP to all of the fallen people 
uh just in this story in chicago period um i remember back in 2020 like for people who don't know you know back in 2020 you know our instagram was like super popping we was dropping all the hood videos like literally the day it happened it'll be on our channel and i remember uh dropping this video of the shooting uh right in front of the roads funeral home and there were a number of people contacting me uh, uh there were some people who were saying things about who they thought could have did it or this why it happened and at the time you know man we just was dropping the news like literally just video clips of the news no opinion no nothing involved with it so we didn't you know want to drop no story about that at that time um and come to find out you know what three years later almost four years later the fbi alleges that you know these two guys were a part of whatever was happening that led to those shootings uh they only are charging monty and chubbs with the murder of paul the first person paul harris so all of the subsequent shootings that happened after that they have yet to ever arrest a person or like name suspects in those cases in this rico case they do not name shooters of these events uh they don't name the suspects or the defendants as shooters they don't name like any additional people as shooters basically what they're saying is that this original murder of paul harris is what led to all of these shootings in the summer of 2020 and they really just trying to knock the two young dudes man off the off with the murder as well as saying that the murder has something to do with gang activity and that's why the feds swooped in man and, and, and you know made it a rico also in the paperwork uh the feds allude to other members of face world who are not indicted in the actual rico and murder case like i said that's just deontay harper and amante mcclure those are the only two men in that you know uh face world rico so when you see it all over the newspaper face world rico that all that man is two young dudes man we appreciate y'all for rocking with us man it's your boy MX Show Guapo, man. Street certified news. The most reputable source for urban media, man. We're gonna keep tackling these tough topics, man. We're gonna keep really breaking down these cases and breaking down paperwork. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep doing our job, man. You know what I mean? Um, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. Hey, if you haven't already done it, man, smack that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment, drop a like, man. Show us love, man. We appreciate all the love, man. We humble by all the love. You see what I'm saying? um this week's story man like i said the feds are trying to make another example out of some more young guys um they're kind of making them the face of 07 and face world they they have not added any other people to the case uh they do have another guy who's kind of he has his own case but they didn't throw his name in there and you know this is I, I believe that this has to do with the fact that the old block case is coming to an end um you know they're doing they're doing closing arguments on that case and basically the feds don't have another case to pursue so it would just so happen that with less than 30 days until the old block rico case is over they indict another group of young men in chicago hit them with the rico and man hey we'll see how it go man we'll keep you know updating this case as more things happen and hey it's your boy mx so man street certified news we out